The Husky class submarine might seem redundant since the Yasin class is also in production. However, the addition of hypersonic weapons, increased automation and robotic integration, and reduced acoustic signature make the Husky class an incremental upgrade. Perhaps the true advantage of the Husky class is not in its technical specifications but rather its price it's slated to be a fair bit cheaper than the Yasin class. Moscow will appreciate the lower price, since the Husky class is expected to replace all third-generation SSNs in Russian service, including the Akila and Sierra class SSNs. Whether any of this gets past the planning stage remains to be seen. Russia's attack submarine fleet is one of the best in the world. When the Akila and Alpha classes of Soviet nuclear attack submarines were launched, they were among the most advanced in the world. While the Russian Navy has continued this tradition with the Yasin class submarines which are still under construction it is also looking to the future with the new Husky class. Information on the Husky class is limited because the project is still on the drawing board, but it will have a number of interesting features that could make it harder to detect and more lethal. According to Vice Admiral Viktor Bursyuk, the Husky class will begin construction sometime around 2023. Finalization of the design and research work for this class is expected to finish by the end of 2018. The Husky Negation class is meant to serve in both the SSN and SSGN capacities. This was first reported in 2015, when the head of the United Shipbuilding Corporation, Anatoly Shlimov, revealed that the fifth-generation project would fulfill both of these roles. The importance of Russian SSGN platforms has been emphasized by certain groups in the Russian government, due to the use of caliber cruise missiles in Syria by the Russian Navy. The primary improvement Husky class lethality is the new missile that is slated to carry the 3M22 Zircon hypersonic cruise missile. The Zircon was successfully tested in 2017, reaching speeds of up to Mach 8. These speeds will make it very hard to track and intercept, as a cruise missile would be able to travel from a ship's radar horizon to the ship very quickly. Zircon's ability to reach Mach 8 puts it at almost three times faster than prior generation missiles. The P-800 Onyx or P-700 Granite missiles, for instance, could only reach speeds of Mach 2.5. The Husky class would also be capable of carrying caliber cruise missiles. Launches are seen in the bow and middle of the submarine. Eight covers are seen opening in the middle of the submarine. As Mr. Vilagin writes at RG.ru, there will be between 40 to 48 missiles underneath these covers. As a similar launch of construction on the Yasin Negation class submarines holds between 4 to 5 missiles, depending on the type. Other offensive capabilities of the Husky class include integration to operate various varieties of unmanned underwater vehicles, UUVs. Some sites have even reported that the Husky class could employ the status 6 nuclear torpedo. The head of Malachit Design Bureau's robotics sector, Oleg Vlasov, has also stated that the Husky class will be integrated with systems that work in the air meaning the Husky class could possibly launch unmanned aerial vehicles to conduct reconnaissance and find targets. The other hyped feature of the Husky class will be its incredibly low acoustic signature. Composite materials are being used in the Husky class so that sound waves from the submarine will be harder to detect. In addition to this, advanced technologies designed to mitigate the acoustic signature of prior generation subs are expected to be incorporated into the Husky class. According to Bursyuk, the Husky class is expected to be two times quieter than earlier generations of submarines. The Husky class submarine might seem redundant since the Yasin class is also in production. However, the addition of hypersonic weapons increased automation and robotic integration, and reduced acoustic signature make the Husky class an incremental upgrade. Perhaps the true advantage of the negation Husky class is not in its technical specifications but rather its price. It's slated to be a fair bit cheaper than the Yasin class.
Moscow will appreciate the lower price, since the Husky class is expected to replace all third-generation SSNs in Russian service, including the Aquila and Sierra class SSNs. Whether any of this gets past the planning stage remains to be seen.